Hi everyone and welcome back to another quick drawing demo. A nice easy one this time. Um, one of my members on Patreon requested a Chinese landscape. I hadn't done anything like that before. So I thought I'd give this one a go. It's a good one for beginners or intermediates. It doesn't take too long. There's not that much drawing involved there. As you can see uh, by the reference photo there. Um, there's not really much going on at all on the left hand side. It's all all focused on the right hand side. I was a bit worried about the composition of this one, you know, being a little bit too heavy um, on the right hand side with hardly anything at all on the left hand side there. Um, but after I looked at the reference for a while I thought well it's quite a nice scene to draw and it won't take too long either. I know the beginners um, they don't like the drawings you know to go on for too long um, so this one shouldn't take long at all. Like I say it's a nice easy one. Now the materials that I use for this are uh, my usual paper, the Daily Rowney Smooth Heavyweight Cartridge Paper. And funnily enough I only use three grades of pencil for this one, a 2H, an HB and a 2B. I use various blenders, um, need a bully razor, set square, a few other bits and bobs, but apart from that there's not much kit needed really for this one. I will put product links in the description below for you um, if you're interested and also I'll put a link there to my Patreon channel as well. Um, you'll be able to find seven videos to accompany this one um, plus there'll be two reference photos there for you to download one with a grid, one without a grid um, so if you want to pop along there take a look and maybe you fancy drawing along with this one there's lots of other drawing projects on there too um, We've got a great community of people over there, so you can post your artwork on the community section. Um, it'd be great to see you over there. Now the drawing itself, like I say, it didn't take too long. Um, obviously most of the work is concentrated on the uh, right hand side there with the building. But the background and the water was mostly done with graphite powder. Um, on a piece of cotton wool and just kind of rubbed over the paper there. By the way, it's A4 sized paper that I'm actually using for this one. Um, that's, the, that's the size I usually prefer to work on and if you've not used the Daily Rowney Smooth Heavyweight paper before give it a go, it's a really nice paper, really versatile paper it works really well for graphite powder, fine detail um, it's a wonderful paper to work on and as you can see there I'm using a small magnifying glass there just to help me out with some of the small detail on the building um, I mean I haven't got bad eyesight or anything, I don't need to use one it's just that I find it's a lot easier to to get the you know the nice sharp detail. Um, so it's a lot easier on your back and your neck and your shoulders as well because you you don't tend to stoop forward. I mean you know when you're kind of doing really fine detail and things like that, you kind of touch your nose on the paper almost, don't you? Trying to get really close to uh, you know get get zoomed in there on the detail. But using a magnifying glass, you know the detail. Um, it's not so hard to do, you can kind of sit back in a more relaxed posture and not get neck strain or any pain in your shoulders or anything like that. Um, so using a magnifying glass is really going to help you, you know, with your drawings, get in there with the detail, but not only that, it's going to help you with your posture as well, because you can find you can sit more upright and not kind of, you know, scrunch your back over and kind of bend all stooped and everything at a funny angle. Um, and give yourself backache or neck ache, so highly recommend using a magnifying glass as well, particularly for small detail. And that's all I really use it for, to be honest. I mean, I don't use it for the entire drawing or anything like that. It's only for these certain drawings like this, where you know there's a good amount of fiddly detail, you know, to be involved with. Um, you know, it can really sort of help you out. It'll help with eye strain as well. And just a quick update on some of the future videos I've got coming up. Um, I've got several more product reviews coming up. I've also got another video coming up um, about blending tools. I've just recently discovered several new blending tools which are really, really good. Um, as you can see there, I'm using a cotton swab. That's not one of them. <laughs> I've been using cotton swabs for years. Um, you don't actually see me using them in this video, although I did use them in this video. Um, but I've left them out so that I can um, do a premiere of them if you like so you can see them all in a video together I'm going to get all the blending tools together and uh, give you a quick demonstration of them because some of the new ones that I've got are really really excellent they really are um, so keep a look out for those and if you've not subscribed yet hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell as well 
um, or you won't get notified of any of the new videos. Okay, so that's just a quick update there on some of the stuff that I've got coming up. And as always, there's going to be loads of content every month posted on Patreon. Um, always more videos on there than there is on YouTube. Um, so if you want to become a member over there, it's only $4 a month, that's all it is. And you'll be able to access all the content, or you can just pay $1. Um, and for that, you can kind of just join in with the community and access the reference photos. But for the videos and all the lessons, it's only $4 a month, which I think is very, very reasonable. Um, and like I said, we've got a fantastic community of people over there. Um, the last video I posted actually was um, a compilation video of all their artwork, which I thought was amazing. I think there was about 150 pieces of art there that they all posted in. So we've got a fantastic community of people. They're really supportive. They're all making friends. Um, I'm sure you'll really enjoy it over there. I'll leave a link to my Patreon in the description below and on the end screen cards as well. Um, so like I say, if you're interested, it'd be fantastic to see you over there. Okay, so I'll leave you to watch the rest of the video in peace. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.